Welcome or welcome back beautiful souls to the channel. Today I will be going over what you need to know about this November full moon in Taurus on November 19th, 2021. I am so excited for this video. As you guys know, if this is your first time, I will be pulling out cards intuitively. And it's interesting because I'm actually recording in the evening as you guys can see in the background. Um, and I never usually do, it's usually during the day, but I find at night there's just this feeling you know full moon the energy it's so powerful so i'm really looking forward to seeing what spirits come into the space to give us these messages here today so before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe as well as put notification bells i do these new moon and full moon energy updates every single month and as per usual as i always promise i will be posting for you guys in the next video a guided energy healing distance energy healing meditation for you and this one's going to be powerful and you will know why after watching this video so make sure you subscribe and put notification bells so you don't miss that video i also have a couple other announcements for you guys the first announcement, if you don't know, is my retreats for 2022 are now open. I'm so excited. I will be hosting three eight-day retreats, deep diving into awakening the soul. So we have three retreats, the Awakened Healer, the Awakened Goddess, and the Awakened Soul. So if you're interested in coming to one of the information sessions, learning more about that, I'll link that all down below for you guys. The second big announcement that you guys are going to be like, e, thank you so much, Chica, is that I am now opening a registration for the 2022 January mentoring. So my conscious mentoring has been booked, uh, filled for the rest of 2021. However, I am opening up the floor for you lovely souls who've been wanting to do healing with me, haven't had an ability or ability to because you either missed the registration or there was no room and now there's some room. So I will be opening the space for my mentoring programs. You guys can apply down below and through that um, we will see what would be a good fit for you. And the last announcement that I have for you guys is a lot of you have been saying, Sheikah, I really love having live full moon healings. So I am actually gonna be hosting a beautiful Zoom intimate healing that we'll be doing together for two hours we'll be doing an energy healing on the day of the full moon on november november 19th at 7 p.m eastern time that link is down below to register um, you will also be going through manifestation we'll be doing clearings we'll be doing i'll be giving you a whole bunch of shadow work prompts to work to help you manifest for the season because november is no joke we're talking about rebirthing so as a scorpio and as part of my birthday gift to you i thought this would be really great so there's only gonna be a few spots um it's gonna be very intimate if you're interested in that go down below and register and i will see you in that full moon space and you'll it'll be a great kind of connection to do the full moon meditation that i'm posting right now in alignment with this amazing full moon workshop that we'll be doing and i'll got you like you're gonna be your life is gonna be blown after this healing so it's gonna be amazing so these are the big announcements i'm so excited uh let me know guys down below what you're excited for um today's subscriber of the day is mary bride brady thank you so much for being part of this family i'm so grateful for you guys let us finally get into the november full moon in taurus and what you need to know so it's interesting i had a long day of just adulting things you know you know when you're trying to get things done and november is all about that it's about getting some things done and not the fun things so i had a lot of channel messages that came through that i can't wait to share with you guys but the first thing that you need to know about this november full moon in taurus on november 19th 2021 is that respect your boundaries by speaking your truth okay you can't say one thing and do another and this is something that co kind of co-aligns with the new moon in scorpio so any scorpios or tauruses let me know with a scorpio sign or a taurus sign down below but i'm talking to you guys specifically it's going to affect all of us here so respecting boundaries by speaking our truth all comes to new boundaries as we expand, as we do more shadow work, our boundaries change, which means our friendships change, which means the people that we used to hang out and go out and party with no longer serve us. 
you know, the partner that was attracted to the old wounds that we had no longer serves us. So it's all about communicating a boundary. And this is really big because for Taurus, the chakra that is most affected is the throat chakra. So notice if your throat is affected during this time, notice how your throat feels when you're communicating your truth. And does your throat clinch up? Does it not when you communicate your boundaries? This is gonna be really big. So I'm gonna pull some cards for you guys for this one. The other thing too is relationship, expectations from you and from others. And we're talking about, no one's gonna read your mind. I know we're all empaths here, and gifted beings as we are, but at the end of the day, we have to understand that if you don't communicate it, how do you expect people to know that that is a boundary for you? How do you expect the person to know that you're going too fast in the relationship, they're going too slow in the relationship? How do you expect people to know that, like family members, that you know this is your values, these are your new shifts in your paradigm? And if you don't express that to them, even if you're fearful, how do you respect yourself by not allowing your boundaries to be fully coming through? There's a card that came out, and this is going to kind of go through in the second part, but ooh, spirit's talking and telling you at night. This is usually when I get the hugest things. Okay, so these cards, I see these. I got three cards for you guys. I'm going to go more in depth and come back to them. The reason why is because for this November full moon in Taurus, a lot of these cards are kind of areas of different emotions that we'll be feeling all throughout November. And I actually did a little mini reading for you guys on what you need to know for this November. I'm going to link it here down below for you guys so you can watch that after. The first thing is glitter and glam. Okay, so some of you guys are getting a wake up call. You're like, okay, what is my relationship with materialistic things? And this has a lot to do with boundaries because maybe some of you guys, you know, creating that new boundary allows you to be scared and have a scarce mentality of materialistic things. So I'll give you an example. Maybe stating your boundaries to family members makes you fearful that you'll have to move out, right? Maybe stating that you are going to break up with your partner or that you feel this way with this person that you're scared that something in this existence of materialism it could be a car, it could be a home, it could be anything. The safety of that space is going to be jeopardized and spirit's just saying, no, it's not. It's always abundant. And the more that you take longer to pull that bandaid, the longer it will take for you to not be in your truth. And the longer that your boundaries will be keep on being surpassed and your happiness will be basically sacrificed for that new life so this is all the energy of scorpio new moon and taurus it's asking us if we create these boundaries even though they're hard a new life is here and new life is kind of what i'm seeing for you guys next year come six months from now so maybe some of you are deciding to move you've decided that where you are is just not not it it's just not it and that's fine so during this full moon of taurus we're going to start you know searching at the houses what is the what are the prices of houses in that place i want to move in what does it look like you know if i'm working on my heart chakra but i really want to open myself to meet new people you know making a new relationship having a new soul in your life is going to change and have a new life in, in a way because now your energy and also the other person's energy as well. So just understanding how can you respect your boundaries for this new life? With new life comes new boundaries. So change your boundaries. Ask yourself, what are your boundaries in your life, your love life, your friendships in all relationships, your career, your money, whatever is being highlighted during the three days before this full moon in Taurus, the day of and three days after. The orphan. This is kind of the biggest thing. So a lot of you guys who might have, check out your Chiron, but a lot of you who have this feeling from your inner child that you're lonely, you're abandoned, it's being exerted here. So some of you are scared of creating boundaries because you're scared that you'll be orphaned, that you will not have, you know, family members, friends right by your side and spirits just saying, hey, no, let's not think of that lack experience. I know that people have abandoned you in the past, but during this new moon in Taurus, on November 19th, 2021, it's just telling you that this is going to change. We have the five number on this card. So that's all about change. It's changing your mindset from a lack mindset of what you have right now is all that you have, whether that's relationships, abundance, materialistic world, whatever it is, and changing that and taking that power back. So some of you might be triggered during this time of the abandonment, the unloved, that aspect and honor it feel through that see okay what part of feeling abandoned and unloved 
what if that trauma that I experienced in the past or this experience with an ex, family members, my younger child, whatever it is, how has this been controlling my whole life? and not allowing me to step into this new life that is literally awaiting for me. And, you know, think about last year around this time. You know, you've you've changed so much. We've all changed, but you've, you've done a lot of new things. But there's always that but. There's always that one thing. Well, I'm going to wait and change and create those boundaries when this happens. Well, no, that's not how it works. So once you've claimed it, it's done. It's already done, and that is it, okay? The other thing is removing the burdens of others' judgments with you. So this comes back to the orphan card. This card is literally like the, the, the queen and king card of this whole thing, okay? This card is, this is us here, okay? So what it's just saying here is that every time that you're not in your truth, you're abandoning a part of you. And if you abandon that part of you, you're abandoning your honest being. And as I said that, on the camera, there was 1111, <laughs> which is new beginnings. So again, removing the burden of others' judgments will allow you to make it easier to create those beautiful boundaries, loves. So keep this in mind for this November full moon in Taurus. Let's go into the second thing you need to know about this November full moon in Taurus. Here, we're really asking yourself, and I'm gonna ask you a question before I go into this point. Do you accept yourself? Do you accept all parts of you? And if you say no, because come on, we're all human, leaving myself, what parts of you that do you not accept? Okay, honor that. Maybe write this down while like, you're talking to me. Maybe like just journal this on your notes or on your phone, whatever. Think about that, okay? Now the next part I want you to type in the comment section after I've explained this. So that will be challenged of the month of outside with you against the world the outside world that's what's going to feel like what i mean by that is that the people closest to you are going to challenge your truth and challenge who you really are so for example if you are trying to satisfy a certain person a certain perspective because you are not the majority then right now you're going to be challenged in that so really think about how has my spirituality, my values, my habits changed in the past year? And in doing that, how have they rebirthed me? And what are the new kind of priorities in my life right now? Speak those priorities. You know, sorry, I'm not gonna go out on a Thursday and go have some drinks because I don't drink as much anymore, right? Sorry, I'm not gonna go and do this specific thing because blah, 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 blah. So, Right now, we're really being rebirthed to the core, to the core root of our values, our essence of our soul. So whatever your soul is meant to do in this space, this is the beautiful thing about rebirthing. It's all of the wounds of us coming into our power and knowing that that is part of our purpose. So for example, if you have the unloved, the abandoned um, you know, wound, you're gonna help other people. You're the best people to help other people because you're the one that knows that pain the most. But again, we can't help other people if we don't help ourselves. This is everything from our family members, our neighbors, our children, whatever it may be. So here we're being called to accept self. Doesn't mean you have to accept all the things that you don't accept, but if this full moon, if this November full moon, there is one thing that is standing out, maybe you're being called to accept that one specific thing. And I'm gonna actually pull another card here for self-acceptance for this November full moon. Okay, so you guys, spirit's not joking. I'm telling you, whenever I do these at night, it's a whole other energy. So here and now, okay? When we are here and now, we can forget about the past. We can stop competing with the past and we can start opening up to self. And I love the egg here because the egg kind of reminds me of the cosmic egg in the tarot deck, which means like the world card essentially. like. This is your time to create this phoenix, this rising phoenix of being. So as you expand to this new life, this new person that you are, ask yourself, how can I accept myself now? What is one thing that I can accept about myself right now? And write that down below. One thing, that's it. Because in this November full moon in Taurus, that thing is going to help you and be that power, that ignition, for you to start creating those boundaries deeper, to communicate, to feel safe to speak your boundaries. I feel safe to speak my boundaries. Type that down below. I feel safe to speak my boundaries. The next one, the never ending story, okay? 
So this one I really love. What parts of you, and this kind of goes into the new moon. If you guys haven't watched my new moon video, go watch it. I'll link it here or down below for you guys. We really talk about intentions of rebirthing here and what we're just not letting go of. You know, when I'm lonely, the orphan card comes in. When you're lonely, that is when you can know the most of what's holding you back from rebirth. Because there's a difference between alone and lonely. Alone's okay, but lonely feels like there's a void. There's something that we're missing in our life. And that is how we respect ourselves is first respecting those voids. So again, figure out what is the never ending story of something in your life that you feel has just been, keeps on coming up around this time in November. What is the pattern that keeps coming up? And don't woe is me, but instead say, okay, face it. Say, this is, this is my, this is the burden. This is what's here. This is the part of how I don't respect myself and my boundaries. This is how I want to honor that. Because again, that is going to be your power. And it, like I said, you know it more than anyone else. And I, I literally applaud you. I love that. I love that essence, that Phoenix that we're all becoming. So honor what is the never ending story of what is not preventing you from doing your dream life. Is it the guilt from your parents? Is it the guilt from your family? Is it the trauma that you had with your ex-partners? Is it the feeling that you are not worthy? You know, these are some common things that are coming in and calling in. Maybe they're speaking to you as I speak to you, but here it's really asking you to stop thinking of this never ending story and say, hey, the story ends now. This story ends right now, this November full moon in Taurus, and I'm done. That's it. You know, there's no looking back. There's no counting the amount of years that you lost because you didn't do this earlier. Everything happens in divine timing. And keep in mind that the things that we shed throughout our journey of our shadow work and our healing, that we are meant to shed at that time because there is a perspective that allows us to open up deeper in that door. What I mean is there's a new door that is opened. If you were still in that dark space or maybe six months ago or a month ago or a week ago, maybe because of the experiences and how you were not changed to the current present now moment, you wouldn't be open enough to shift you wouldn't be open to be where you are today. So again, give gratitude for that. Give gratitude to that space. The next part is what you need to know about this November. Full moon in Taurus on November 19th, 2021, is that we are recreating ourselves equals ego death. Now let me explain ego death because I feel like in the spiritual community, that word is used a little too much sometimes. And a lot of people go into transformation saying, I want to, I want to get rid of the ego. I just want to like get rid of this stuff. I want to be done with the ego, right? But ego death, essentially what it means is losing part of self, losing all essence of self or part of self. And I want to really highlight part of self because the purpose of ego is to still keep us in this 3d world and to still keep us going, to keep us grounded in a way. But when the ego exerts itself in a way that it avoids and it creates escapism, that is when the alarms go off. The angel number 911 came up. So the nines and ones, if anyone's getting that, let me know down below. This is for you. So understand that when that comes through, that is you telling you that what are the parts of your ego are you holding on to because you're scared of seeing the truth of who you really are. And that part of our ego is what's preventing us from rebirthing and claiming this new life. This card here, this is your lucky card. This new life, sorry, it was blurry there, that we're all yearning for. And the moment that we're able to open up to that is the moment that everything becomes so much easier, honestly, so much easier in our life, okay? So ask yourself, how can you do that? And I wrote this down, this literally channeled for me. So just really breathe into these words. Lose your identity now to share your true or your new identity for later. What this means is that even though in the uncertainty of letting go and speaking our truth to those that we love or strangers or letting people see a part of us that was being created over this past year, shifted, expanded, rising of that Phoenix energy, regardless of what that is, knowing that this challenge is going to help you so much deeper to start flooding the gates with the new things you want to manifest in your life, this new moon, this full moon, I said new moon, full moon. This full moon's all about manifesting into that energy, okay? So really think about that. 
what parts of you are you gonna let go and woo you guys are gonna love the november workshop that i have on the 19th and the november um full moon meditation healing because we're going deep into this specific point there are parts of our ego that we're not allowing ourselves to completely let go and i want you to ask yourself or actually comment down below what part of your ego are you afraid to let go of right now and why is that Okay, number four, the fourth thing that you need to know about this full moon in Taurus on November 19th, 2021, is that it's all about activation of the throat chakra. So three days leading up to it, the day of and three days after, is a great time to do some chanting, some singing. Does anyone have a drum? If you have a drum, let me know. Put a drum emoji down below. If you have a drum, it's a great time to sing, hum, chant. Great time to write down some self-confident mantras. So one time a day in the morning, think of a self-confidence mantra. Go back to what parts do you not like about yourself. Shift that, understand that, and give yourself a loving energy of how to love yourself. What, how, would you, how would you wanna love your younger self? If your younger self was in front of you and said these words, like, I don't like the way I look. I don't like that my, my mind's always racing. I don't like this and this. How would you talk to that person? How would you talk to them? and honor that mantra and create that throughout that day and sing it you know i am loved i am loved like open that space hold honor that because the more that we're able to honor that the more that we'll be able to open our throat and the more that we'll be able to speak our boundaries to speak our truth to speak who we really are to honor all those parts of us because after all it is the season of the scorpio which is all about rebirthing shifting expanding the unknown the darkness of the the depths of our shadow but in that comes the light the more that we embrace that the more that we honor the light in ourselves and that is power so sing anyone like singing if you do like singing that's amazing sing in your shower sing with your drum sing all the time this is the time to sing for this full moon this full moon in november in taurus the last thing you need to know about this november full moon in taurus on november 19 2020 more 2021 so excited 2021 is that closing all chapters some of you guys have not closed your chapters for the new moon and i'm just gonna say this right now okay i know it's hard i know it's hard to look at every friend that you have in this existence and say we do not align anymore i know it's hard to look at the person that you've been dating for most of your life and say hey we have grew apart i know it's hard to leave the job that you've had most of your life or been forced to leave your job because your values are more important than you bowing down to certain things that the world is going through right now i don't need to say it you already know if you know nod your head what i'm all trying to say is that right now we are being tested on our truth and more than ever those old chapters need to go Okay, that X that's sliding in your DMs around this time when they're lonely, it's the, the, the changing of weather. I tell you, it's harvesting, it's colder, it's darker earlier, you know what I mean? You just wanna eat comfort food and that's okay. Stop making yourself feel guilty. This November full moon is all about closing those chapters. So listen up. In order for you to have that new life, you need to. And before I even said that, the two cards that fell out of my hand was that buy the book, okay? Buy the book. Sometimes people aren't taught, and I saw this video, I'm gonna share this with you guys, but just remember, okay? This kind of reminds the ancestral lineage, okay? So think of it this way. We live in a life where school, there's a yes or no answer, right? When we go into the shadow work, there's never a definite answer. And that's one of the things, because we're constantly evolving every minute, every second, every day, every week, every month, every year. We're never the same. So this November, you know, full moon in Taurus is all about reminding us to respect that change, to respect the transformation of this rebirthing month of November in Scorpio and Taurus energy, okay? So don't think of things by the book. You don't need to do things a certain way because your family did it, because your friend did it, because that's how you always known you've done it. Change the book, write a new chapter, Write a new type of genre if you'd like. And I'm saying this metaphorically. So in this November full moon in Taurus, November 19, 2021, we're all about don't do things by the book all the time. You know, how do you break away from the book? What is scaring you? 
You know, what's scaring you is the ego. The ego is scared to break away from the boat. That's what we know. Like, why are we doing that? Like, let's escape from this. Let's eat food. Let's do... No, let's not do that. Okay, honey? So again, this is very important for you to activate and open your voice. The last thing is message in the bottle. Whenever I get this card in a reading with you guys, it's basically just telling me you're going to get messages. So look out for any spirit animals during this time of the full moon. Look out for any things that resonate with your soul. And you're just like, yeah, that stranger said that. Sorry, I'm like getting my head back into the camera. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that stranger said that. And that resonated with me. I feel that, you know? With that message in the bottle, I'm feeling really called to use my work my work your light card deck. So let's see what other cards we have here for you guys for closing old chapters because I feel like you guys have one other card. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Two things. The first thing I'm going to say, take a break for this transition. Okay. November is exhausting. It's tiring. Take a break. Okay. Everything will always be there. The money will always be there. The life will always be there. The, the, the front, like this will always be there. What won't be there is your health and your body, okay? And that's another thing I always like to tell people is when we're going through huge major transformations, emotional release is just as impactful as going through a surgery. So keep this in mind. I know it's just only newer years, earlier years that people have been more mindful about mental health and all that. But just keep this in mind, this feeling of like the orphanage card that's like reaching out to me, this change that you're stepping away of like feeling down, feeling like you're alone in this journey. You're not alone. You're going to learn that during this full moon in Taurus. You're also going to learn that with a new life and claiming this new life comes new support and expansion of support, better support in that way. The thing that is really calling for me in this whole card reading and everything that you need to know about this full moon this November is that you are laying the foundations for something that you cannot fully plan out. That's how big it is. I I'm telling you every November, I don't know about you guys, it's always this like feeling, you know, the year is ending, we're thinking about what we've done so far, and that's what this November full moon's all about. We're laying these new foundations of our empire, of the life that we want to create. And that doesn't mean that that life that we want to create has to be exactly or anything like what we have currently. So keep this in mind. Okay, so I feel like called to use another deck. This deck is calling me, and I don't use it often. It's my spirit animal deck, and I'm going to use it here. So we're going to pull out maybe one card here and then do some affirmations for you guys. Let me know what's resonating with you down below because I'm really feeling this, and I'm really happy that I follow my intuition. I decided to record this earlier for you guys because I'm seeing a lot of correlations. This is probably the deepest correlations between the new moon and the full moon out of all of the 2021. So I'm really excited that I'm able to do this. And I think this is important for us all to hold space for it. Oh my God. This is, oh my God. I'm so happy. Okay, guys, I said one card, we got three. I'm going to start with the first one because this one's just giving me like shivers number one any light language you guys know that i speak light language for anyone who's asking me shika what is this words that you say in your videos when my meditations it's light language i'm transmuting that and if you look at this card i know a lot of you guys are gifted in this whether you found out or not this is light language on he's writing it okay cosmic light, light language it's called stargazer and there's a song specifically that i've been feeling really called to put in my playlist with lots of my healings this month and it's called the waters it's a really good song i'm gonna actually look it up on my phone to share it with you guys i obviously don't want to get um what do you call it blocked off youtube so i'm only gonna put the beginning So we are the stars that fall. This is by Ajet, A-J-E-E-T, The Waters. Please listen to this song. One of my favorite songs. I love to listen to it. When I saw this card, that song played in my head. We are all stars that fall. We all have purpose. We're all meant to be in this lifetime. And sometimes when we feel like that orphan card where it's like, we feel so lost, we feel so out of it. It's like, this is the only way I need to 
exchange my boundaries for my emotions. I need to feel guilty and shame and all those things. And that's what's holding me back from creating this, this new life that is waiting for me really, really soon. So as we rebirth, this is all talking about set your sights higher. Some of you are limiting your dreams and limiting your perspective because of the relationships you have and you're not creating the right boundaries to know who you need to weed out as the new moon in Scorpio has said in the beginning of this month. Um, and also some of you need to honor that like you are more powerful than you think. It's not what all meets the eye. So I love this card. The second card is magic guardian. Unlock the magic within the more that you're able to open your boundaries and align with your spiritual um, and values and your expansion and just your who you are as who your new person is since you've been working on your shadow work the more that your gifts will open up i get a lot of messages of Sheikah, people saying Sheikah, like how do you how do you open your gifts i've create i restructure my boundaries constantly if something doesn't feel right to me i need to shift something if something feels like i get violated by a certain thing that someone says something needs to be changed i need to shift that so it's the awareness of our shadow and awareness of our boundaries in this full moon this november in taurus elder move beyond the ancestral patterns hello what did we just say what did we just say we said don't go by the book okay don't go by the book that is literally what this card said. And this one's saying elders, okay? Just because your family has done it this way, just because your lineage has never released their emotions, didn't have permission to, weren't in a time to, doesn't mean you have to do the same. Shift that rhetoric, okay? Change that, shift that. It's so crucial. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I'm so happy. I can't wait to see the affirmation videos. So, or cards. So that that is so beautiful i would really suggest you guys before i even get to the affirmations re-watch this video come back to it fresh after the meditation that i post for you guys on the day of the full moon man like this is so much is clicking here like so i'm getting much more as i go through okay so oh my god okay this card is on the top of my deck i have to share it it's just screaming at me spirits like why do you keep on going to affirmations share this to them direction guardian choose your path you choose your boundaries you choose your path you choose your where you want to be you choose everything else so everything is choice remember that even in our hardships even in rejection even in in struggle trauma we're choosing that pain over releasing it we're choosing to be that orphan we're choosing to be unloved we're choosing to you can change that this month this full moon's powerful loves okay so let's let's end this with a bang you don't get you don't have to wait till the end of the year to do the affirmations and stuff it can be before the, to change these like what do you call it new year's resolutions i even forgot what it's called because i don't i don't do new year's resolutions more and more every year because to me i do them every month anyways so i don't need to have a month or a year to tell me when i need to change my life remember that let's see what affirmations we have for this november Full moon in Taurus on November 19th, 2021. Let's see what spirit is sharing with us. That flipped out. This flipped out. It's funny, I saw that card at the top of my deck and I was like, oh, I bet she's gonna come out. And it did. <laughs> I, I I always like, spirit, you know. And of course the card that said that at the top is the card that we all made right now. So I'll get to that in a second. Purpose. I know that I am here to do. I'm here to do. You're here to do something. Doesn't mean you need to know what that is right now but you're here to do something. And I thank you for that. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your purpose and being here, like for choosing to be here. I'm so proud of you. That's something we all need to hear sometimes, even in days of like this, we need to hear. So the card that I saw on the top of the deck and I was like, mm, maybe later, <laughs> it came out anyways, doubt. I released the need to know all the answers. Do you need to know everything though? Not really, okay? When you worry, you're doubting something. When you're analyzing something, you're doubting something. So think of that that way during this full moon in Taurus. If you're analyzing and worrying or your lack of confidence of something, that means there's some doubt there. And if there's some doubt, question what is the doubt that you feel? What is this void that I feel that is making me feel that I'm not able to attain this new life? this new expansion? Imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Creativity is all about new life, okay? So we're, we're tapping into the sacral here. It's like, how do you create, how do you cultivate your energy? You are such a powerful being, remember that. Last card, change. 
We all resist change, humans don't like change, but let me tell you, when we embrace it, and we embrace not knowing the, the, the worry of what's next, big things happen, huge things happen. I understand that nothing can grow and evolve without movement. So I want you guys to write down below what is the affirmation that aligned with you, but this is huge right if we don't embrace change then how are we able to move in our life how are we able to move out this bad old energy this i don't want to say bad but old energy this stagnant yucky energy that just keeps coming back into our path again and again don't go by the book remember that okay so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video on what you need to know about this november full moon in taurus on november 19 2021 and let me know down below what resonates with you i love reading your comments when you guys share that um, I will be posting a video for you guys for an energy healing. I also will have on November 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern time, a private circle, beautiful healing circle, powerful rebirthing circle for you guys. You can go register for that down below. Um, there's only going to be limited spots, so get your spots quickly. I know they're going to go by quick. Um, and don't forget retreats next year, 2022 as well as my 2022 mentoring applications are open so go apply would love to support you in the new year and i'm just so excited so yeah before you leave the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe as well put notification bell so you don't miss a video and i love you all so 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 much i will see you soon happy full moon in taurus and get ready get ready to rebirth get ready to have this new life get ready Bijous, love you all. Bye.